20 years after the massacre here in Srebrenica, families of the victims are still looking for closure. They're still looking for justice and they're still looking for some way that this truth is always remembered. Here they are amongst the gravestones and today, 20 years later, more remains will be buried. Samia Omerovic lost her 22-year-old son that day and she's come with her sisters to remember. That there is her son's headstone and he's buried under this mound. Where they're sitting right now is where they hope they'll be able to bury Samia's husband. He has yet to be found, yet to be identified. This day means a lot to me, the day of remembrance. And the more people I see coming here, the more relieved I feel because I know we are not forgotten. President Clinton spoke and said he loved this place, that what he did, gathering a coalition to confront the Bosnian Serbs after Srebrenica and then later on in Kosovo, were among the most important things he did with his presidency. And he issued this heartfelt plea. I am begging you not to let this monument to innocent boys and men become only a memory of a tragedy. I ask you to make it a sacred trust where all people here can come and claim a future for this country. As the Muslim prayers for the dead, for the martyrs, were being sung, the coffins of those who will be buried on this anniversary were being prepared. It is extraordinary to think that all these years later, two decades later, remains are still being found, have yet to be buried, and there are another thousand victims who have not even been identified yet. But as the Serbian Prime Minister came to pay his respects, the grieving families here in Srebrenica could contain themselves no longer, booing and hissing and even pelting him. They were angry that under Serb pressure, the Russians vetoed the UN resolution calling this a genocide. The Prime Minister and his people fled and left the scene. Afterwards, I asked President Clinton what all this meant. Who would have thought when you were asking me questions about this 22 years ago, that after 22 years, the question of identity would still be at the root of most of the world's problems. Although the Dayton Accords stopped the war, the people of Bosnia know that it cemented the ethnic divisions. For them, real peace, real change, will mean reopening the political process. Christiana Manpour, CNN, at Srebrenica, 20 years later.